So here are the top four tips for communicating with CEOs, investors, and business leaders. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett said that the best investment he ever made was the $100 he spent on Dale Carnegie's communication training. And that's because most of us are just bad at communicating. Death by PowerPoint, boring conference calls, wedding speeches, bad communication is everywhere. And it's the same with communicating data. It doesn't matter how good your data is or your insights are. If you're bad at communicating it, unless you communicate it in a way that gets people to listen and helps them to understand what you're saying, it's completely worthless. So let's go. The top four tips for communicating with CEOs, investors, and business leaders. Only talk about what they care about. Before you start putting together your data, write down what it is that your audience wants to make a decision about and make sure that everything you do links to that. And if you don't know, ask. And if you still don't know, here's a cheat sheet. Any CEO, investor or business leader will care most about driving three things up. Revenue and profit, market share and retention, or driving three things down. Cost, time to market or speed, and risk. Any data or insight that links to these three points will get their attention. Just because it's important to you does not mean it's important to them. So once you think you have all your data and your charts ready to go, go through and remove 80% of it, or at least everything that doesn't link to the decision that you wrote down earlier. And I promise you, removing that one beautiful chart that you spent hours creating and looks absolutely wonderful will hurt. But to quote one of the greatest communicators of all time, kill your darlings, kill your darlings. Even when it breaks your egocentric little heart, kill your darlings. When it comes to showing data, you need to be absolutely brutal and only showing what matters. So if it doesn't link to what your audience cares about, kill it. Tell them your main point in three minutes. Yes, three minutes. You need to think about the story you wanna tell as a movie trailer not a movie. That means you have three minutes to grab their attention and get the main points across. You've probably heard people talk about story structures and they're great, but they don't always work in every single situation. This structure does. So in your first three minutes, you wanna tell them what the question was that you're trying to answer. What is the story that the data is telling? What is the action that needs to happen? And this will probably have to be your point of view based on what you've seen in the data. And then show three to five data points, charts, graphs, or data visualizations that confirm what you've said. All of that in three minutes. You'll have their attention and you can spend the rest of the time diving deeper into the data and discuss it. Don't make it beautiful, just make it easy to understand. Too often people try and make their data and charts look beautiful by adding colors and pictures and photos and icons. Don't. Instead, spend that time making your charts, graphs, and data visualizations as simple and easy to understand as possible. They don't need to be a work of art, and they don't need to show all the data. Unless you're a trained graphic designer, just focus on making them clear. The key here is to follow a few simple tips. I've put together three short videos that you can watch right now. One about how to simplify your visualizations, one about how to pick the right charts, and one about how to use color. If I were you, I recommend clicking on the middle video, which is all about how to choose the right chart. It's the starting point for any data visualization and also something so many people get wrong. So click right now to start learning.